convicted murderer Albert Ian Schweitzer has been exonerated after a hearing that presented new evidence by the Hawaii Innocent Project. Schweitzer was one of three men found guilty of killing Dana Ireland more than 30 years ago. A judge ruled just a few minutes ago that Schweitzer, who was in the courtroom during today's hearing, was to be set free immediately. Manola Morales reports. After a hearing that took most of the day, Hilo Circuit Court Judge Peter Kubota ruled in favor of Albert Schweitzer. The conviction of Albert Ian Schweitz for murder in the second degree, kidnapping and sexual assault in the first degree is hereby vacated and Mr. Schweitzer shall be released, released immediately from custody in this courtroom. There were cheers from the defense team as Schweitzer was told he can be released after spending the past 23 years in prison. 23-year-old Dana Ireland was killed in December 1991 while riding her bike on the Big Island. It took years, but three suspects were eventually convicted of the crime. Frank Pauline Jr., who was killed while serving his time in a New Mexico prison, Sean Schweitzer, who cut a plea deal and served a year in jail, and Albert Ian Schweitzer, who had been in prison. The Hawaii Innocence Project has asked the court to release Ian because of new evidence presented on Tuesday, saying there have been significant improvements in DNA testing since the original trial. In total, there are seven samples of DNA, uh, seven samples that were tested for DNA, and unknown male number one's DNA is found on all of them. Ian, Sean, and Frank are all excluded. Among the key evidence presented is a bloody T-shirt supposedly worn by Pauline. A forensic scientist testified that DNA found on the shirt excludes the three men from matching the sample. So what it means when someone is excluded is their DNA does not uh, match or is not consistent with the DNA from the evidence. Under cross-examination, the state asked if there was another shirt worn underneath. Is it possible to not leave any DNA on the outer shirt? It's possible that they wouldn't leave DNA behind. Because the shirt, there's a shirt underneath that's closer in contact with your body. It creates a sort of barrier, but um, say the neckline is still exposed to both shirts. After his ruling, the judge gave Schweitzer some advice on how to live his life as a free man. You can live it being angry and resentful at the process or the people that put you there, or you can live it with a new freedom. All right, I suggest that since you have your whole family here, you hug and love your family and live a fulfilled life. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.